main topic today was the forehand. At the beginning, we just did the forehand where we drew the clock, saying that if I was right here, I clock my racket to 12 o'clock to start, I'd turn it down, I'd turn it up, and I'd turn it all the way around to three. My motion goes from 12 to 5, all the way around to 7, with the contact happening at 3. We need to make sure that this was not done extremely with the wrist, but instead we're going to have our shoulder dry this motion out for us. That meant starting the shoulder rotation earlier so that if I was hitting towards your dad, he would clearly be able to see not only my chest, but truly see my shoulder with my arms still about to turn up. And then when I'm done, I truly need to finish so he could see that sticker on kind of my shoulder plate. So, finish, so two things on that. The beginning part of the shoulder drive and the finishing part of the shoulder drive. Our goal is to make it more smooth so that as you increase your swing speeds, it sticks together. Rather than me being able to do it slow, but when I try to attack, things kind of fall apart. Like I screwed something in, but I didn't screw it all the way tight. So then, under duress, it kind of falls apart. So that's what we practice for a good shot. Then, on the serve, we practice those top spins. We want to make sure we get margin for error both above the net and in front of the service line. So far, we can either do one, or we can do the other. We haven't quite got both of them yet. We'll still work on that, making sure that we can go up with the spin. We worked on our legs, making sure they loaded for us. And what are the two reasons we use the legs in our serve? Okay, creating power in an upwards direction and making it so I can turn better with no friction. Absolutely. And then during the points, at the beginning, you were hitting them all short. So I'd hit like two shots and then I would get an approach shot. That was really fun for me. Um, you need to start hitting it deeper. Part of that's swinging harder. Part of that's just making sure we get this done on time so you can have the drive to the shot. Also, net clearance, even if you hit it really well, if you hit it low over the net, it's going to go deep, yep, so we need to hit it a little bit higher. Then, we started to play some really good points. So nice job, Anna. And on that back end, get this set, get this established really strong so that it doesn't break apart as you do your slip. Once again, sturdy versus flimsy. I feel like if you, when you get set up for a back end, can you show me this set up for a backhand? I feel like normally, as you get set up for a backhand, I could go like this, and I could easily push you over. I can't right now because you're balanced and you're set up. But I feel like normally, especially sometimes when the ball's coming fast like this, I think right now, you're just not balanced. You're just not secure. So you just need to continue to get you 